and what you could do is generally the dispatch function can be split into two kind of parts. One is the admin side and the other is the actual scheduling and routing, right? And and why split it in two parts, right? Yeah, so why do you want to split it in two parts? So the admin part is more about uh, providing updates on ETAs, you know, uh, giving updates or cross-functional communication, providing an update on the technician. Uh, so that's the admin part, making sure that, you know, the customers uh, get an update or notification on when the technician is arriving, updated portals, and then updating the dispatch team as well. If there is an information customer on when they expect the technician to be on a specific time or date, right? So that needs to be communicated back to the dispatch team. And and the other part, like I mentioned, the schedule and routing, that's a key job, right? Because it requires specific skills in terms of being able to ensure that you have the right utilization of the technician and also, you know, routing and mapping the technician's uh, journey so that, you know, there is no multiple truck roles and they optimize the route for the day. So those are key roles of dispatch.